A warm greeting? Today is Sunday, June 30, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. At the time of recording this video, it is 4 p.m. local time in the Eastern Caribbean, where the dangerous and powerful hurricane barrel will soon arrive. In the past 24 hours, it has undergone a rapid intensification process and is currently a Category 4 hurricane with maximum sustained winds of 130 miles per hour. This sets several records in the Atlantic region. First, it is the strongest tropical cyclone to form in June since records began, and it will pass over the southern Lesser Antilles, an area that has never experienced the maximum sustained winds of a Category 4 hurricane. This is quite impressive, especially considering it's June. This aligns with what we've discussed over the past few months. The sea surface temperatures in the tropical Atlantic are at levels typically seen in August and September, which has facilitated the formation of this dangerous and powerful hurricane. As if that weren't enough, we're also monitoring other areas of interest. Invest 94 has just been classified as tropical depression and may become a weak tropical storm before reaching Veracruz, Mexico. This new tropical cyclone promises torrential rains in eastern Mexico. Additionally, we have a tropical wave midway between the Caribbean and Africa, with a high probability of becoming a tropical depression as it moves west or west-northwest on a path similar to Hurricane Barrel. Here at Hurricane Info. We're under special coverage to address all these disturbances, and in this video we'll focus on the forecast for Invest 96, the tropical wave trailing Hurricane Barrel. Later I will update the forecast for Hurricane Barrel, and record another video to discuss the newly formed Tropical Depression 3. Let's look at the visible satellite image where we can see that the tropical wave continues to organize. In this animation, we see good rotation, although there hasn't been much progress in its organization today. However, Conditions should be favorable for it to become at least a tropical depression or tropical storm before reaching the Caribbean. This is why the National Hurricane Center maintains a 70% probability of formation into a tropical depression over the next five days as it approaches the Caribbean. So, this is our next candidate to become a tropical cyclone. If it becomes a tropical storm, it will be named Tropical Storm Chris, depending on whether Tropical Depression 3 becomes Tropical Storm Chris first. As this tropical wave was designated Invest 96, we now have specialized model projections. Let's start with the trajectory projection. Like Hurricane Barrel, there's a good consensus that it will maintain a west or west-northwest trajectory over the next few days, reaching the Lesser Antilles by Wednesday or Thursday and crossing the same area where Hurricane Barrel will pass. This is important because residents in the southern Lesser Antilles will be recovering from Hurricane Barrel, and another cyclone threatens the area. If you live in Dominica, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines, Barbados, Grenada, and Tobago, be aware that another cyclone may move through the region midweek. In the long term, it is projected to move south of the Dominican Republic, south of Puerto Rico, and eventually near Haiti or Jamaica by next weekend. However, remember that this is a long-term projection, and we will monitor any changes. For now, it seems to follow an almost identical path to Hurricane Barrel. However, Invest 96 is expected to be less organized compared to Hurricane Barrel, which could result in more rain for the northern Lesser Antilles Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic mid to late week. Soon, I will show you the anticipated rainfall estimates for this region. And although the conditions are favorable for the development of another tropical cyclone, you can see that the specialized intensity models maintain a gradual strengthening for at least the next four days. They project that when it reaches the Caribbean, it will be a tropical storm or perhaps a Category 1 hurricane, but definitely nothing like what we are currently seeing with Hurricane Barrel. Despite the passage of the powerful Hurricane Barrel, sea surface temperatures remain extremely warm in this area, allowing Invest 96 to find favorable temperatures for strengthening. Also, wind shear is expected to remain low, which is unusual for June. We will watch how the dry air north of the circulation influences cyclonic formation. In Barrel's case, it had no effect as it maintained a moisture field protecting the center from dry air. Currently, model projections suggest Invest 96 will also create a moisture field around its center, protecting it from dry air. Let's look at the global model projections. But first, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go to the bottom of the video, click the red subscribe button, and then click the bell to receive notifications of all videos during this special coverage. Now, let's look at the GFS model projection. It shows that by Monday night, we will have a tropical depression associated with Invest 96, maintaining a west-northwest trajectory, reaching the southern Lesser Antilles as a tropical storm by Wednesday afternoon or evening. It will then continue west on Thursday and Friday, passing about 300 miles south of Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, and about 250 kilometers south of the Dominican Republic. This trajectory is almost identical to that of Hurricane Barrel. The European model also maintains a similar trajectory. By Tuesday morning, it has formed a tropical depression but keeps it very weak as it crosses the Lesser Antilles and moves south of Puerto Rico next Thursday. So our two best models agree on the same trajectory. 
with the difference being that the GFS model shows a tropical storm or Category 1 hurricane moving through the Caribbean, while the European model keeps it as a tropical wave or tropical depression. Other models, like the German model, show a tropical storm crossing the Lesser Antilles on Wednesday afternoon or evening, while the UK model shows a weak tropical depression or storm crossing the Lesser Antilles on Wednesday morning. Analyzing the GFS ensemble members, they all maintain that disturbance as a tropical depression or weak tropical storm with a west or west-northwest trajectory, crossing the southern Lesser Antilles and remaining south of Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. Similarly, the European model ensemble members also show a tropical depression or storm with a trajectory similar to Hurricane Barrel. For now, it appears the northern Lesser Antilles, the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, and the Dominican Republic will not see a direct impact from Invest 96. However, this is a long-term projection, and we will remain vigilant for any changes. Regardless of how far south or north it moves, this disturbance promises significant rainfall for the Lesser Antilles, Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, and the Virgin Islands. The GFS model projects rainfall accumulations of 50 to 100 mm for the Lesser Antilles between Wednesday and Thursday, with strong rain for the Northern Lesser Antilles, the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, and the Dominican Republic, with 70 to 150 mm of rain between Thursday and Saturday. This means 2 to 5 inches of rain for Puerto Rico. We will continue to monitor these rainfall projections, and the risk of flooding will be present from mid to late week. In terms of wind, with a southern trajectory, Tropical storm winds may affect the southern Lesser Antilles and remain south of Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic, barring any unexpected northward shift. At Hurricane Info, we will continue to monitor Invest 96's evolution. In summary, it seems to threaten the southern Lesser Antilles. For now, the outlook appears favorable for Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, and the northern Lesser Antilles, although more rain is expected compared to the indirect effects of Hurricane Barrel. I will closely monitor this potential cyclone's development throughout the week. Before I go, I invite you to consider joining my channel as a sponsor. Go to the bottom of the video, click the blue join button, and see the different sponsorship options. With a small monthly contribution, you can receive additional benefits. Well, I'll say goodbye for now. The next video will update the powerful hurricane barrel and its indirect impacts on Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, Haiti, and direct impacts on Jamaica, Belize, the Yucatan Peninsula, and possibly Texas or the states of Veracruz and Tamaulipas. Hurricane Barrel will cross the entire Caribbean Sea, and we will be here to keep you informed. Goodbye until the next video.